Welcome back to the Electrician's Tool Channel. On the bench today, we have the Tenma ELCD Polarity Tester, model number 72-6791. This tester was placed on the market on December 3rd, 2003. Uh, I don't know if this model is still in rotation to be sold, but I'm sure you probably can find one on eBay uh, or one of the other sites. But uh, this this uh, this tester here is just an ordinary GFCI. Here in the states, we would call it a GFCI tester, and uh, I think they call it in one of the other countries, like the UK. I think it's the RCD tester, something like that. But since it has the uh, the NEMA plug on it, here in the states, we call it um, a GFCI tester. Now it does work. It, it does work. I use it around the house a lot because I have other testers that I take with me, uh, such as the Fluke, the Ideal, and other uh, Polarity GFCI testers and analyzers. I have all of those with me, so I have this one around the house, and it does work. Uh, the GFCI these are these are the voltages for the milliamps right here. You have let me bring it in closer so you can see. Uh, you have the off switch right here, this is the dial you use. You can manually turn it to any uh, milliamp uh, you desire, voltage you desire. Uh, the off button, I mean selection, you have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, and up to 35 milliamps. Up here, it tells you, uh, you can see, if these lights light up, certain I have two lights on this side, is correct, so on and so forth. Same as a regular basic te tester that we use here in, in, in the States. Uh, and it does work. Oftentimes when I use it like in my restroom or the restroom to test the GFCI plug there, uh, as soon as I have it in off, I, test, I have it in off selection and the lights lights up and then I'll turn it on to 10 and it snap, it, it turns the, um, it tips the circuit on a GFCI tester. It does the same thing with the ones that's uh, located up uh, on a countertop by the sink. It works perfectly. I don't have any issues with it. Um, now, and it's, as far as the how, it, it doesn't take any battery. It receives its power from the receptacle itself. As far as the, um, the housing of it, it feels just about the same as any other tester that you buy on the market. It's, the, it's, it's made out of plastic. It's not made to, be, made to be dropping around or anything like that, you know. And uh, it's a really nice tester. So if you were to find one like this, uh, my recommendation you were to find one like this and you like how this look and how it works, um, you know, I recommend that you get it. And the price is right. Uh, I wouldn't pay no more than 15 maybe $20 for it. But uh, I'll get it. I like it, me. I, I really do like it. Um, but anyway, this is a nice tester. And let me just, as far as the cable, the plug and all, it's nice and heavy duty. Uh, there's no flaws in it whatsoever. I like what I, I like it a lot. I also have the ground on here, which you see the ground plug on there. And uh, it's nice. It's really nice. Guys, hit that subscribe button if you like the channel. Uh, leave a comment, hit the share button, all of that in support of the channel. Uh, and stay tuned because there will be more videos coming and a lot more coming. So if you like what you see, you may want to hit that subscribe button. Thank, thank you guys for, uh, who have joined for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. It's not about your money. It's just for the level tools. That's all. And the entertainment purposes as well as educational purposes for those who get something out of it. So guys, thank you. And we'll meet right back up here. You guys stay safe. And we'll meet back up here again at a later date to do more videos. Take care.